Hello ladies and gentlemen, Security Wolf here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Pander 1. The Pander 1 is a 6x6 configuration wheeled combat vehicle, which can only be described as a multi-purpose vehicle for its development to fulfill a wide variety of combat roles, with all variants sharing the same automotive components. It was first developed as a private venture, and the first prototype appeared in 1985. Since then, a series of pre-production variants have been produced to demonstrate a number of roles from unarmed ambulances to various turreted models mounting weapons from 12.7mm machine guns to 30mm cannons. The uh, base model, Pander, APC does not have a turret, although firing ports for occupants' weapons can be provided in whole sides while two doors for the passengers are provided at the rear. There are also roof hatches. Uh, in Austrian Army uh, armor personnel carrier variant, which you can see in front of us, uh, basically the first Pander production model ordered in 1994 and intended for United Nations duties, has a raised rear hull roof to increase internal headspace for 8 troops carried, plus an externally mounted and protected 12.7mm Browning M2 heavy machine gun over the commander's cupola. The initial order was for 68 units, although the final totals for this variant was much higher. So this right here is uh, the Pander one that the Austrian army uses. Um, in my opinion, I think this is more of the kind of standard or would be considered more of kind of like the base model Pander. Obviously, the base model uh, does not have the ha the uh, gun mounted on top or the raised roof, but I think this is the one that you're really going to see most of in service as it was the variant that was exported for United Nations duty and is also pretty much used by the main uh, operator of this vehicle. Uh, the Austrian um, army. So overall really interesting vehicle um, and uh, you know we don't have many Austrian vehicles so it's always fun to get you know a nation that doesn't have any, that many tutorials on the channel um, out there and all that stuff. Uh, recently I did a tutorial for the Pander 1 with the 30 millimeter turret mounted on top which is a pretty cool design. Um, just a disclaimer to kind of throw out there is I'll be using the first few layers from that tutorial um, in this video. So if you notice, uh, we'll be kind of building this next to the uh, original copy or the footage might kind of look the same. That's because it is. Um, and then once we get above layer 3, then we're going to go and switch back and do the top of it. Because basically everything below the uh, layer 3 or layer 4 is pretty much exactly the same on both models. So just reuse the footage and uh, you'll still get the same result of the vehicle you can see in front of us. So um, anyways, just a disclaimer for that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle itself, see exactly what we got going on here. Um, to kind of begin with, we have obviously the front of the vehicle here. Uh, pretty standard if you built the 30 millimeter version, you'll notice the similarities obviously are uh, very apparent on the bottom of the vehicle. Uh, up on top here, it's where we kind of see the differences. So uh, we have the side mirrors here, obviously, and then we have the driver's hatch here with the like windscreen or um, you know whatever they really call it. I don't know the exact term for it, but it's got basically like a little windshield that's foldable up and down. So I guess to allow the driver to have his head out and able to drive it from there. Uh, we got obviously the vents here and some other various little details here which make this uh, variant a little bit different as it has this raised roof here which the standard version does not have and it also has this protected 12.7 uh, uh, millimeter machine gun that mounts up on top. Uh, there's also this little spotlight here. We got the little viewports here for the uh, occupants of the inside of the vehicle to be able to actually fire out of the vehicle if needed. Uh, you know just various little details here and there and of course the back um, pretty much exactly the same as the 30 millimeter version. So overall really nice looking design for it and you know fun little APC for sure. Um, I do like the Pander series um, or the Pander ones just because they're really small and really uh, compact APCs compared to you know some of the larger uh, four wheeled and all those kind of APCs, tracked APCs. So uh, pretty cool vehicle overall. Um, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first uh, layer, layer one. Alright guys, going to move into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer 1. For layer 1, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down two uh, narrow brick stairs that are going to be back to back to go ahead and basically create the left front wheel. So two narrow brick stairs upside down back to back, we're going to go ahead and then go to one of the uh, narrow brick stairs here, place down a row of three of stone brick top subs. So our vehicle is going to be facing that direction and the rear is going to be obviously going that way, so make sure that this is set up correctly. Anyways, to the side of this stone brick top slab, we're going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair, followed by a stair right behind it, so you have your front axle set up like this. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some wool blocks, or basically just some uh, placeholder blocks we can easily delete a little bit later. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and skip a space from this middle stone brick top slab, and then place down a narrow stone brick top slab like this. 
Come off the stone brick top side to both sides. We're gonna place down a stone brick top side like that. So you have a row of three here. Never break up down stair and a stair right behind it. Same thing here on both sides like that. Once that's done, going back from the middle stone brick top side, we're gonna again go back one and two. Uh, spaces back, place down a stone brick top sub, one to either side, so you have a row of three here. And then we want to place down another brick up down stair, stair behind it, same thing over here, like that to make the axle uh, for the wheels here, like that. Once uh, that's all finished there, uh, that's going to pretty much do it for layer one, very simple, straightforward layer. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number uh Two. So for layer two, to go ahead and get started here, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take our green terracotta and uh, we're going to go ahead and actually, first off, before that, uh, we're going to take our narrow brick stairs and place down two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of the narrow brick upside down stairs just to go ahead and complete the wheel design here. And this is going to go ahead and go around to all of our wheels. So we have a total of six of these wheels all complete like that. Once that's done there, we're going to take our green terracotta in between these narrow brick stairs here. We're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across like this, followed by a row of two of dark oak wood upside down stairs coming off those three green terracotta blocks. To both sides of these green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides. And then coming off the, the fronts of these stairs, we're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood fence gate coming off the two dark oak wood stairs to both sides like that for the front there. Uh, with that done, we're going to go and then take our green terracotta we're going to place down a green terracotta block here in the middle followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides like this we then want to place down a row of three of green terracotta across um, we're then going to place down a, another row of three of green terracotta across as well and coming off this first row of three of green terracotta we're going to be placing down a dark oak fence gate coming off this green terracotta block to both sides so same thing over here as well and also a wooden sign coming off the fence gate like this and the fence gate itself, we actually want to go ahead and open up so it's opened up toward the wooden sign like that on both sides there. With that done, continuing on, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall to both sides like this. A green terracotta block in the middle, followed by a row of three of green uh, stain clay going across here. Uh, one thing I want to go ahead and add on, uh, or actually my bad, uh, that we're not going to add that on. That's actually going to go ahead and go to the sides here of this row of three. And we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on both those ends. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall here on both sides on those stone brick top slabs, followed by a green terracotta block between them. We're then going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across. And with that done, we're going to go and take our mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood stair coming off the middle, green terracotta block, mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. And then come off that mossy cobblestone wall to the side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a black banner coming off the back of those um, dark oak wood stairs. And we also want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off the mossy cobblestone wall opened up toward the wall with a zombie head coming off the front of the stair like that. With that all done, that's going to do it for layer number one, or sorry, layer two. And with that, let's move on to layer number three. Going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three to get started here, we're going to go ahead and go to this row of upside down stairs and zombie heads we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across with that done we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood upside down stairs followed by a dark oak wood upside down corner stair to both sides like so with that done going ahead and going back from these green terracotta blocks we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair to both sides and a row of three of green terracotta across in between them we then want to place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off the front of the stairs like that to both sides and then another row of three of green terracotta across in the middle with that done, we're going to place down a row of five of green terracotta across. After that, we're going to place down a row of four of green terracotta followed by a dark oak with tops up to both sides. After that's done, we're going to place down a green terracotta block here in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides. And coming off that cobblestone wall, we're going to be placing down a dark oak with upside down stair. And same thing over here as well, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of five across. Followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair to both sides and a row of three of green terracotta across between those uh, stairs. Um, actually, my bad, it's actually going to be a green terracotta block in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides. And then coming off that dark oak wood upside down stair, we're going to be placing down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides with signs wrapped around the mossy cobblestone wall like this. Same thing over here. We then want to go ahead and grab, our <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame, and in that item frame, we're going to go ahead and place down it on the mossy cobblestone walls with a 
uh, red stained glass block like this on the uh, in the item frame like that to create the back brake lights. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood stairs and place down a row of three of dark oak wood stairs across in between those mossy cobblestone walls. Uh, with that all done, that's going to pretty much wrap up layer. Uh, or sorry, my bad. This actually should be. Let me go and fix this real quick. Uh, this actually should actually be some spruce wood up downstairs here, uh, on both sides like this. They're going to go across there. Anyways, once that's all done, that's going to do it for layer number three. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down a green carpet right here on top of this dark oak wood upside down corner stair. We then want to place down a zombie head right next to it. With that done, we're going to then place down a row of three of green carpet over to the side like so. With that done, we're going to go to the middle uh, block in this row of five of green terracotta. Place down a spruce wood slab like this, followed by a spruce wood slab over to the right side like so. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood slab. Uh, or sorry, dark oak wood fence uh, post that's going to be on both sides like this and then also right next to this spruce wood slab here we're going to be placing down a dark oak wood slab. Coming off this uh, dark oak wood fence post here to the sides we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate opened up toward the rear of the vehicle. Uh, so same thing over here on this side. Coming off the dark oak wood fence post toward the front we're going to place down an item frame on both sides with a glass block in it for the front headlights and going ahead and going to the dark oak wood fence gates uh, here we're going to be placing down a item frame like this on both sides with a black wool block in the item frame like that and also a wooden sign over the uh, item frame like this for the side mirrors like that. With uh, that done there we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a row of two of spruce stairs behind these spruce wood slabs. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the sides here of the spruce wood uh, stair here, place down a uh, dark oak wood corner stair there dark oak wood stair next to this spruce wood stair and a dark oak wood corner stair like that to the side. Going back from this dark oak wood corner stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair back on both sides, followed by one and two black wool blocks from the right side and then a green terracotta block there. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some nether brick stairs. We're going to place down one and two nether brick ups down stairs along the right side here, followed by wooden signs along the sides of these stairs. Uh, with that done, we're going to then take our black wool. We're going to place down a row of two of black wool after these two black wool blocks, followed by a green terracotta block to the side. And then uh, we're going to place down another dark oak wood stair, like so. Um, after that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and then go from this uh, narrow brick stair here. We're going to place down one, two, and three green terracotta blocks over. We're going to grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall and place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off this green terracotta block with a wooden sign on the side of it, like so. Uh, with that done, uh, we're going to continue on by placing down a dark oak wood stair that is going to be facing this direction after this narrow brick stair and coming off the side of the stair itself, we're going to be placing down a wither skeleton skull like that. Once that's done, we're going to go over from the stair, one, two, and three green terracotta blocks. And then over here, we're going to be placing down a shulker box, so a green shulker box like this. And on the side of it, we want to place down a wooden trap door like so for a jerry can that's going to be mounted on the side of the vehicle. Going back from this dark oak wood stair here, we're going to be placing down one and two dark oak wood stairs back and back from the green shulker box over here on this side, two dark oak wood stairs back. In the space in between the stairs, we're going to place down two rows of three of green terracotta like that across to fill that space in. And on the sides of these stairs here, we're going to be placing down um, some item frames with uh, black wool blocks in it for the little viewports here for the occupants inside of the APC. Uh, with that done, we're going to take our green terracotta going black going back from this dark oak wood stair, we're going to be placing down a row of five of green terracotta all the way across. At this point here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on these mossy cobblestone walls to both sides. In the space in the middle here, we're going to be placing down a spruce wood plank on both sides here. And then the very middle, we're going to place down a green terracotta block. Coming off the uh, green terracotta blocks toward the rear here, we're going to place down a sign on both sides. Over here to the right side for a little compartment, we're going to place down two tripwire hooks. And over here to the left side, we'll be placing down a row of two of ladders for a back fence on the side. Um, with that, when, it's done, when that's all done there, we're going to go and take some sandstone top slabs. And for a little bit of detail back here, a little bit of extra stuff, cargo maybe mounted on the back. We're going to place down a row of sandstone top slabs. If you do not want to include that those uh, sandstone top slabs, that's no problem at all. Uh, for this, you can very simply just go and place down stone buns on those two spruce wood planks and call it good. Um, but for us to keep it consistent with the design we have over there, I'm going to place down a row of three of sandstone top slabs across the back there. Anyways, with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up layer number four. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to 
uh, layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five to go and begin with, we're gonna go ahead and, go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull at a slight angle on top of these dark oak wood fence gates here to both sides. So you just want a slight angle, not very uh, sharp, just like that, very gradual on both sides. Once that's done, going back from these spruce wood stairs, we're going to be placing down a basically two rows of two of stone pressure plates on those black wool blocks. And over here to the side on this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a spruce wood uh, slab like this. If you do want to include the glass panes, you can go ahead and place down a row of three of like great stained glass panes across like that. Another option for this area as well is to go ahead and disregard the glass panes, place down a zombie head like this and a zombie head angled here to both sides like that. Unfortunately, I couldn't really do both because of obviously having the glass panes and the zombie heads in the same area. You can't really do that, uh, but you can kind of choose between those two options for the front here, whatever you choose and like the best. Um, anyways, going back from the spruce wood slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this, followed by a spruce wood slab right behind the dark oak wood stair. To both sides of the spruce wood slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this to the sides, and then one also that goes toward the back here. On this green choker box, we're going to place down a green zombie head. And then uh, to the side from this dark oak wood stair here, just trying to get a good visual, we're going to have a dark oak wood slab that is going to go here in the middle. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this to the side. Coming off this dark oak wood stair going forward, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab. So we have something that looks like this so far for the front here. Going back from this uh, spruce wood stair, we're going to place down a, uh, sorry, this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank. To the uh, right side of the plank, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. Over here to the other side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. Coming off the dark oak, dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab. And we then want to place down a dark oak wood uh, stair coming off this spruce wood plank, followed by one and two uh, dark oak wood slabs over to the side there. With uh, that done there, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence post to place it down on top of this dark oak wood corner stair up here. And we're also going to place down two wither skeleton skulls on these two dark oak wood ups downstairs for the smoke grenade dispensers. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go and place down a uh, zombie head in the middle on this green terracotta block, followed by one and two spruce wood slabs back. Same thing over here, one and two spruce wood slabs back, and then a dark oak wood slab there in the middle. With that done, we're going to then take a dark oak wood fence post, place down a fence post on these green terracotta blocks on both sides. And lastly, we're going to take some stone slabs and place down a row of three of stone slabs on those uh, three stone or sandstone top slabs from the previous layer. With uh, that all done, that is going to complete layer number five. And with that, we're going to move into our final layers, which are going to be layer six through nine. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, moving into our final layers here, we're going to be going ahead and building layers six through nine. For these layers, to get started here, we're going to be placing down an anvil on top of this spruce wood plank right here, followed by another brick up down stair going toward the front. We then want to place down two end rods coming off that narrow brick stair toward the front, followed by a redstone appear with the notches flicked back like this on the narrow brick stair for the gun sights like that. Uh, with that done there, we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood um, upside down stair here to both sides of this anvil, so just like this on both sides. And on the tops of, or basically on the bottoms of the stairs, we're going to place down a green carpet like this, followed by a wooden sign on both sides of these stairs. Coming off the stairs themselves, toward the front, we're going to place down a zombie head, like that going toward the front. After that's done, going back from this section here, we're going to be placing down a uh, wooden trap door on this dark oak wood stair here. And we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, mossy cobblestone wall to both sides of it. Around these uh, mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to go ahead and take some wooden signs, wrap them around like so. And we also want to place down a wooden sign on this wooden trap door like that. And that's going to do it there for your uh, 50 caliber machine gun. With that done, on this uh, dark oak wood fence post here, we're going to place down a wooden trap door with an item frame coming off of it. And in the item frame itself, we're going to be placing down a glass block for a little spotlight here on the vehicle itself. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves a stone button and we're going to be placing down a stone button on this spruce wood plank. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars and going up from these dark oak wood fence posts here, we're going to go ahead and place down a, a row or a column of four iron uh, bars going up like this. So one, two, three, and four up like this for the radio antennas. Once you guys have that all complete, that's going to pretty much do it uh, for the Pander 1 APC version. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using it, I do want to say you guys give me proper credit for it. This would be from the sun, the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit, proper credit for it, you're free to use your favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, 
and um, that's all that really matters. Um, other than that, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett204, and I'll see you guys next time.